Hi, welcome to this lab. In this lab, I'm going to show you how to process data in blob storage using Data Factory, HD Insight and High Query. Basically, what I'm going to do is create blob storage and upload a Hive script into it. And secondly, I'm going to create Data Factory. And thirdly, I'm going to create Compute Linked Service in Data Factory to create on-demand HD Insight cluster. And finally, I'm going to create Data Factory pipeline with Hive Query. I know it might be confusing to you, so please closely follow what I'm doing in order to understand how you can use Azure HD Insight in order to process the data. Okay, so first of all, let me create Azure Blob Storage. Firstly, I'm going to create a temporary resource group because I'm going to delete this after this lab. Of course, you need to do the same thing. and go into that resource group and create a blob storage. Click on storage account, click on create and select analytics temp RG. Here storage account, I'm going to call this as Rudra blob storage. And I'm going to leave everything as it is. I know you might change this to blob storage if you want, but I'm going to keep that as it is and click on review and click on create. While this storage account gets created, I'm going to create a service principle in Azure Active Directory and provide contributor role to that service principle to this storage account that we created. Okay, maybe I'll give it at a resource group level itself. So let me create that one. So application registration, I'm going to call this as HD Insight and HTTP rudra9.com. Yeah, here I'm going to create a key. I'm going to call this as HD Insight and duration, it's going to be one year and save this value. Let's copy this. Yeah, and then here I'm going to just copy this, close this. And then copy this, okay? So we created a service principle. Now we need to provide contributor role to the resource group that we created to this service principle. So go to resource group, click on it, and then access control, add a role assignment, contributor role, and then here type in HD Insight, yeah, and then save. Okay, that's it. And now we need to upload the script, the Hive script into the storage account that we created. Here, let's create a container, which is I'm going to call this as HD Insight. HDI. Yeah, and then click on it. And then upload the file. Oh, it's already there, is it? No, no, it's not there, sorry. Upload it. That's it. So we have uploaded the Hive script. Basically, what this Hive script contains is these statements. It will fetch the data from a sample table and it will only take few columns out of the table and then insert into an output table. So both are text files, basically. So it reads a sample text file, which contains rows and number of columns, but we are interested in only few columns. So it reads column values of those few columns and store it into a output table. Okay, so basically Hive sample out is an output table and the input table is Hive sample table. This sample table, we are not providing anything because when a HD inside cluster is created, there is a sample table that automatically gets created into that storage account and it will get read out. Okay, so 
let me go back to Azure portal. Now we need to create data factories on there. Let's create data factory. I already have one. Use existing analysis temp RG, location is North Europe, and then click on create. This is generally pretty quick, so I'm going to wait for it. Okay, so let's go to resource, click on author and monitor. Let's click on this and click on connections. First linked service that I'm going to create is to the blob storage that I created. Here select subscription Azure trainings and the one that we created is Rudra blob storage. Okay, and test connection. I'm not changing anything. If required, you can change it and click on create. Now it got created. Next linked service that I'm going to do is for HD inside. So here you need to select compute here because it's a compute service. So click on it. Here I don't have any HD inside existing. So I'm going to create it on demand. And the linked service that I'm going to use is blob storage. So basically the blob storage we created is going to be used by HD insight as a data store. Okay. Cluster type is Hadoop and I'm going to make it two. I'm going to um, keep it for 30 minutes and service principal ID and principal key. This is the credentials that will be used by HD inside cluster in order to populate the data into blob storage or access that resource group. Okay, so we copied this here. So let's copy this, sorry. This is the ID. and service principal key. Okay, tenant, I'm going to leave that as it is. And subscription, I'm going to select Azure trainings, resource group, use existing one, which is analytics temp RG, select region, not Europe, and additional storage linked service, just select this one and click on OS type and provide SSH username and password. That's it, all done. We have provided everything. Now click on finish. And the linked service has been saved. Now we need to go to pipeline and click on add pipeline. And in this case, we are going to use Hive Activity. For that, we need to provide HDA cluster. Rest of the things you can provide if you want, but I'm not uh, taking you through this because they are very straightforward. HD Insight cluster, select linked service one. That's the linked service that we created. And the script linked service, select Azure Blob Storage and browse to the storage, HD Insight and select the script. See, that's it. I think unfortunately, this thing came up. So let me do one thing very quickly. Let me go to the script and then delete this. Now, let's go here. Sorry, new tab. Sorry, I'm not used to Chromey. Yeah, so now let's go to blob storage. And then let's delete this. Sorry. 
because I zoomed in for better view it's not coming here so delete the snapshots also now go to HD insight and upload the hive script again upload and then go to data factory and let's create the script again oh you can edit from here also okay anyway now I have changed it so that's the script and go to advanced and if you press on autofill script then you need to provide a parameter value for one of the parameters in the script so if you go back sorry I can show you here also one minute in here if you see there is an output parameter for that we need to pass on the value that means where this output needs to be stored in the storage account so let me provide that WASB which is the driver name and then you need to provide container name here HD inside and at the rate Rudra blob storage dot blob dot core dot windows dot net and what folder you want to create and store this output table into what folder so here output folder this is a virtual folder anyway slash okay so all I'm providing is a parameter value basically output parameter value specifying a location where this output needs to be stored okay and then publish this change okay I hope you understand this correctly so basically what we are doing we are accessing a table that will be created by the cluster itself as an example and we are reading only few columns from the table into the destination table okay so let's close this hopefully it should work let's validate it no errors and now let's trigger This is going to take a lot of time because uh, it needs to create a cluster on demand and run the Hive query on it. So I'm going to pause this video for a few minutes and come back once the pipeline either succeeded or failed. Now I have waited for over 30 minutes and our pipeline has been failed. So let's go into the actions and view details of it. It is telling Hadoop job file with exit code 1, user error, C and, and go into this path for viewing the details. So let's go to blob storage and go to blobs and ADFS jobs, high query jobs, click on it, click on status and error details. And here it's telling table hive sample out not found and also it's telling the account being accessed does not support HTTP not sure why that came okay what I will do is I think problem might be because let's go to pipeline hive script and it is talking about output table isn't it hive sample out first of all let's view the script looks everything okay for me let's me close this go down and here we provided HD inside maybe we need to create output folder inside here only hive script is there let me do one thing let me create using storage explorer Downloads. HD 
PhD inside and then create a new folder which is output folder maybe that is the reason why it hasn't and let's validate this and we haven't changed isn't it so let's trigger now again hopefully let's see what happens again it might take some time so i'm going to pause this video and come back once this is done now the second run of the pipeline has been completed and as you can see it again failed but this time i think i know the reason because if you go to HD Insight, I've done some research by the way. Go to script and go to advanced. And if you are using HTTPS, that means if you enable secure access required on the storage account, then you need to use VASPS basically here like this. And this should work in my view. But again, let's see what happens. The reason I'm not editing these videos and errors is you should know what kind of errors will come when you are doing this. That's how you learn, isn't it? So that's the reason I'm keeping all these things. Dismiss, and then let's trigger now. I really hope this works now. So finally, our pipeline run has been succeeded. You can't imagine how much happy I am. Finally, it is succeeded and you can click on it to view the details and if you want to view the output of it then close this close this go to hd insight and you should see an output folder and click on it download this and then open it so basically you can see some information here this is the output table let me show you the source table also you can see less columns right in the output table you can see only three columns or four but if you can see the source then you can see lots of columns basically what high query done is it stripped all the unnecessary columns and it stored the selected columns into your output table. So that's it for this lab. In this lab, I have shown you how to process the data using Hive Query on Data Factory. And also I have shown you how to create on-demand HD inside clusters using Data Factory. I hope you find this lab useful.